Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Stevo and this evening we are going to be showing you the best shotgun class setup in this game by a mile. Before we do that, I would like to say a massive welcome to all the new Sheep Jack and subscribers who have joined my channel since my upload on Thunderstruck Gaming and a big hello to all my existing subscribers if there's any of you still alive. There's got to be one of you out there somewhere. Put your hand up little Billy, I know you're out there. So this evening Banana Man is demonstrating our class for us. It is the Bulldog with the muzzle brake attachment which increases your damage at a longer range and extended mags, you're going to need them on this weapon. Um, I think the weapon only has 5 um, shotgun shells per normal clip and the extended mags takes it to 9 which is much much needed. So the Bulldog, it is a semi-automatic shotgun with a high rate of fire. It literally does what it says on the tin, it is deadly at short range, however it's still okay at um, medium to long range, and by medium to long range I mean in shotgun terms, not literally across the map. <laughs> um, so the damage does drop off at you know a considerable range, but having said that for a shotgun, it is pretty decent and I will show you in the gameplay we have coming up in a minute. Um, so competing with its rivals in the shotgun category, you've got the FP6 which is a pump action, a bit like the um, 870 from uh, Black Ops 2. The TAC-12 is like the KSG and the MTS is a double action a revolving cylinder shotgun that lets you take uh, a double shot um, before you get to reload. So it's actually quite fun to use as like a western style shotgun. But the Bulldog is more like the AA-12 for Modern Warfare 2, however it is a semi-automatic version, but you can, the, the rate of fire on the gun, it may as well just be a fully automatic. Um, so I always bounce back and forth um, on my strike packages with a shotgun class, sometimes I run Assault, uh, most of the time I just run Specialist because really if you play fast paced with a shotgun you're going to tear shit up. So this is my setup I use, I use Ready Up. So I can uh, have my weapon up ready, up ready, up ready, my weapon ready faster after sprinting. Slighter hand to reload faster, agility to move faster, marathon to sprint unlimited, uh, scavenger of course to resupply my ammo, and ICU to regen my health faster. You can see this setup is designed around rushing in the enemy's face, a um, really fast paced gameplay, reloading fast. ICU is really good to regen your health faster because um, again, such a, a close range thing that it might get a bullet off of, you know, panic shot me. Um, so it helps me regen my health faster and move straight on to the next enemy. Um, my specialist class is actually designed around this shotgun. <laughs> Dead Eye is absolutely crazy. Um, I use this more for the medium range engagements because up close it will drop instantly. They will drop instantly. You don't even need Dead Eye. And Dead Eye is more of something I can fall back on if I'm not very close quarters. Uh, focus obviously to stay on target, off the grid to stay off the grid, steady aim to improve my hip fire accuracy because um, obviously you don't aim down inside with a shotgun. On the go so I can reload while sprinting, I don't want to slow my gameplay down for any reason so that's why I use this perk. And of course dead silence and amplify so I can stay silent and hear the enemies a lot easier. So I do have a chem strike gameplay for you guys, um, I got it on my second um, attempt with this shotgun. Um, I'll be switching to the gameplay right now, so I'll see you in just a second. So this is optimal territory really for the Bulldog shotgun in this game. Um, I lock down this area of the map in Domination. Um, I always tend to play around the B flag anyway when I'm playing in a Domination. Um, so it's a pretty good area for me. Um, you can see, you know, pretty decent uh, range on this shotgun. Yeah, up close there, they, do they drop like so fast, it's unbelievable. And the rate of fire is amazing like i'll be very surprised if this uh, shotgun doesn't get a nerf to us like very very close range damage um, you can see a few clips here which are like sort of medium range for the shotgun like that one there and um, there's a couple come up outside in a moment where you know i drop them easily and you look at this um shotgun has only got nine shells in the clip so you really do need an extended mags but look at this close range like they just don't have a chance to react really in this Unless you get panic knifed, like that's good range for a shotgun really. 
um, unless you get panicked and I've really there's not not much you know hope for them of taking you out if you stick to the uh, the shotgun's advantages play really close range you know play to the weapon strengths and all that so you can see there's a very uh, very fast chem strike coming up for you now um, and when people line up I mean I, ha I had a quad earlier when um, they were coming upstairs and it literally took like three four shells to take out all four of them so there's a chem strike for you this guy calls me a bulldog loser and I'm gonna go cry now anyway I hope you enjoyed the gameplay guys just a quick uh, shotgun guide for you give this weapon a try uh, <laughs> jump into some free for all with this uh, shotgun because the shotgun is just as crazy as the spawns in that game mode so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave a comment and a rating if you did and subscribe to see more and I shall see you in the next one. Peace! What's going on friends? My name is Stevo, and I'm here today to show you how to get tons of squad points in Call of Duty Ghosts.